All right, so for this video, I'm going to show how to test your solenoid and micro switch with the multimeter to see if it's good or not. Um, you can get this multimeter, I believe, from the Brunswick uh, website. We've had this one for years. We haven't had a need to get a new one yet, so this one's kind of old, but it still works and does the job just fine. So uh, you can have your old solenoid and micro switch. We pulled this off of uh, one of our lanes today, so we're going to test it. Uh, we know it was having some issues, but we're going to go ahead and test it to see what uh, percentages it was at um, for our solenoid and micro switch. So I'm going to grab my multimeter here. Grab my multimeter here. So I'm going to have uh, some selections I need to go to. So for the test, my solenoid and switch, I'm going to go to ohms. Ohms is going to be this little upside down horseshoe like shape there. I'm going to go to that one. And then it should go, uh, say, 0L or 0L, uh, OL. And then ohms will be in the corner for that also. That's how you know you're also on the right thing. So as I'm on there, I'm going to go ahead and prop it up on my stand that I have here. It goes to the stand on the back for hours. You're going to have some plugs that you're going to need to, uh, uh, to attach. So we already have them plugged in, but I'll show where to plug them at. So we're going to have one set here. So just connect black to black, red to red. The black one's going to go in the black slot. Red's going to go in the red slot. After I've got that, go ahead and untangle my cords, get those out the way. I'm going to go ahead and get those cords uh, up out the way for that. Now I'm going to have my plug in for my solenoid and micro switch. So I'm going to go ahead and connect it together. Now, as you can see, how this is made, black is going to go to the gray, to the micro switch, and then red is wired straight to the solenoid. So you need to know that for whenever you need to know to connect these to your wires. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and test my solenoid. So the solenoid should be at least 26.0 ohms. As long as you have that, that's how you know you have at least a uh, decent working solenoid um, for your pin holder. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these here. Grab both. So now we're going to look at our multimeter. As I connect this one, this is going to go automatically start moving uh, and switching numbers. So as I have that on there, I should hit at least 26.0. This hit 27.0 going down a little bit, but we did hit 26. So we know we're... We're pretty solid, not too bad for this. So I know I've got a decent solenoid. Now I'm going to go ahead and check my micro switch. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, but again, I need the black ones to check this one. Connect those two. Then connect the other end. Now for this one, you notice it didn't instantly start switching numbers because you have to engage the micro switch. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. This one should be at least 1.0. So this, we didn't hit 1.0, we went to 9, and kind of went straight back down to 5, and then I'll do it. I'm going to do this one a couple times, just to kind of confirm, make sure it's not going to go past 1, and that one went only to 5. So this one, I know I've got a faulty switch on here. Uh, we know this, we have an old one. This is a white switch. We have dark gray now, so I know this one's old. Uh, in the next video, I will show how to take this take this assembly apart and rewire and reconnect if needed. So stay tuned for that video.